morning. Welcome back to the conversation. This is Midlife Crisis Activities. This is our lifestyles and pop culture webcast. Our daily shout out to the world. I'm your host, Patrick Russell. And over there is my very vivacious producer, Veronica. Together, we're here to lend our voices to the noise from a multi-generational perspective to help explain everything that's right and wrong in this world. Happy Thunder Thursday to you, Veronica. Finally Thursday. Ooh, just a little bit further to Friday. Now, we've got a bittersweet story to talk about. One of those stories that you have to laugh because you would cry if you didn't. (laughs) The never-ending custody battle saga between the two Hollywood megastars Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt rages on. Now, if you recall, just to give you some dates on this matter, they officially got married in 2014. They filed for divorce not too much longer, uh, 2016. And their divorce was actually finalized, the separation agreement in April of 2019, but that still left the issue of custody for the six children open for litigation. And so that custody battle has continued on to this day. The latest chapter, Angelina Jolie was successful in getting the original custody judge, the court case judge, thrown off the case. And now they're going to be proceeding with a brand new judge, Ouch. fresh scoreboard, possibly even having to rehash old arguments that were already made, questions asked and answered before that now are subject to open from a fresh set of new judicial eyes. From a younger generation's perspective, Veronica, do you see this as truly a case, a cause of a mother's concern and love for her children, almost adult children? Or do you see this revenge best serve cold? Oh, gosh. Your thoughts? Well, we all know. We I haven't gotten a divorce, but we all know that it can be <clears throat> nasty when getting a divorce, especially when you have all those means, you know, all the money that they have. So it gets I, very expensive, I mean, oh, too. Oh, yeah, it gets very expensive, right, Patrick? So um, I, I think it's more of revenge from Angelina Jolie mm. because... Because big if, declaration here. Yeah, I agree, though. I think so because if uh, in this case, if the husband and the wife know, let's let's talk about just a case. If they know that they're a good mom and dad, I mean, why are they going through all this? Having why I mean, would they drag 50, 50. their children yeah. through this I, I saga? Do, I do believe that mom this and dad. litigious nightmare. I do believe that mom and dad have to have like 50-50 uh, custody. So if she's dragging her feet, it's probably because she's angry and she's still angry with things that we probably don't know. So I, I think it's that uh, because I mean, once again, if the so I did remember the oldest kid mentioned that he never had a good relationship with the father and had so, an altercation at yeah. one point coming off of a private jet, a plane trip that apparently went south for this kid for this probably overindulged entitled spoiled brat from some accounts that i've read go ahead so uh, like i said i i do feel that as a mom even if my kid would doesn't want to be with his father as long as it was nothing uh like lo- as long as my husband or ex-husband in this case is not going to harm my child i think it has to be 50 50 i mean he's paying child support I'm, I'm assuming he's doing his best so I mean, the kids sometimes there can be assholes. So, I mean, let's face it, you know, even if my kid said, I don't want to be with my mom or my dad. I mean, what is it that he did? And then if he did something wrong and then probably we can go into the next stage. But in this point, I think it's just the kids being kids. As always, we don't have all the information. And so we're just trying to be objective based on all the public information available. And I will say this. All evidence would lead to the fact that Angelina Jolie is really pushing on this custody case with a lot of spite, with a lot of spit and vinegar. And why would I say that? First and foremost, you're talking about kids that are no longer babies, right? The youngest set of twins are 13 by all accounts. By the time this custody battle is over, the kids will all be old enough to drive themselves back and forth from mom and dad's place. So I guess that's a good thing. It's nice. But then there's an example being set. Not just the fact that they're dragging the kids through this litigious saga, which is always ugly and nasty, and there are no winners. And that's the problem that I think is really being set here, is that these kids now will go through life believing that instead of handling their personal issues humanely and through person to person, 
Now they feel like all matters, including the matters of the heart, need to be litigiously handled. And I think moving on, it'll be fun to see if these kids go through a lot of lawsuits. You know they're going to go through a lot of therapy. But will they go through a lot of lawsuits in their lifetime? Just a social experiment to keep in mind. Last so point from my perspective that um, I do see and, and watch a lot of women going through divorces. And the last thing that they want to do is fight with the husband as long as he's paying child support, as long as he's been there, uh, you know, he wants to be there for the kids. So it looks like that's the case where uh, Brad P wants to be there. He's paying child support. So... And that's what money does. Money prevents you from seeing the, the, the picture in front of you. And, I mean, it's sad because, I mean, the lawyers are the ones getting the money. <laughs> that's exactly right. So, from all accounts, it doesn't appear like it's a situation where Brad Pitt is a true abusive father. Is he a perfect dad? No. Nobody is. Nobody is. Nobody is. But from all accounts, it's not a case of there being an extreme abusive situation, which I think is the story that Angelina Jolie is trying to push out there into the courts. But which, also, how which I think is dubious and duplicitous, and then also a cancerous, corrosive element to the relationship that her kids are going to have to the only father that they have moving forward in life. And I think it's such a wrong move, but go ahead. We cannot blame Angelina Jolie per se uh, for the way she's feeling because what I, I read something that she said, and once again, this is reading from her social media, that at some point when she was uh, diagnosed with cancer, Brad Pitt told her that she was no longer a woman because obviously whatever she did with the cancer. And, and, and I mean, even though it might seem silly, I mean, imagine you telling me that. I mean, that hurts. And I think that's where her, I mean, it's not right, but I think that's where her anger is coming from. That's a fake news alert for is you that, right there. Because even if those words happen to fly out of Brad Pitt's mouth, the context, I believe, has completely been evaporated in your expression of that moment. I doubt it went down exactly the way you said it, but... That's what I read. More what importantly, read. final note on my side from a general perspective, when it comes to litigious matters and lawsuits, there are no winners and losers. There's just survivors. Guys, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer, but there definitely is your opinion. Please, don't just subscribe to this channel, even though we will be doing this back and forth on a daily basis, but lend your voice to the show. It'll make it a whole lot more fun. Guys, it doesn't matter what comes your way today. It doesn't matter what obstacles or challenges that you may face. You just need to remember one thing. Give him hell. hell. Happy Thunder Thursday, everybody.